Channel 26 News. Today we will be showing a special broadcast on child obesity 100 years ago in 2013 and how it has improved greatly in the United States. In 2013, the number of obese children in America was increasing drastically. The rate had more than doubled in children over the time period of 30 years. 23.9 million children ages 2 to 19 were overweight or obese. 33% of boys and 30.4% of girls. In 2010, an estimated 43 million preschool children were overweight or obese, a 60% increase since 1990. Between 1995 and 2005, 73.8% of the farm subsidies went to meat and dairy. Only 0.37% went to fruits and vegetables. Back then, a salad cost more than a Big Mac. Today, America has been made a better country. Here is an interview from the past with Jamie. Hi, I'm Rachel Geis from May 3, 2013, talking here with the daughter of a struggling family. Recently, the price of processed foods decreased 40%, while the price of fruits and vegetables increased 40%. Since it took a lot of time and effort for farmers to harvest crops, the continuous consumption of the processed foods caused people in low-income houses to buy these foods and become obese. So Jamie, are there any supermarkets around your house? Well, no. My mom would have to drive two hours just to make sure I have fruits and vegetables in my diet. But you can't afford to go that far because of gas prices. I might have cheesy fries and pizza for dinner, if we're lucky. Usually, I just munch on a bag of chips. As you can see, now in 2013, lots of families suffer from famine, which results in obesity. We need to make a change now. Obesity was a huge problem 100 years ago. Here's an interview of Dr. Hong from 2013. Can you explain the causes of childhood obesity and what happens to you once you become obese? Obesity is the result of having a caloric imbalance, which means too few calories are used or burned off than the amount consumed. Poor eating habits and lack of exercise can cause obesity. A family history of obesity can increase the chance of a child becoming obese. What can obesity lead to? If not treated, a person's lifespan can be shortened. Once people become obese, they have a wide range of fatal health problems. Obesity can result in high blood pressure. People can also have cardiovascular diseases, high cholesterol, diabetes, and heart disease. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, that was interesting. We will be right back after these short messages. Brought to you by Bounty. I've been tortured. Take that, Jumbo Jones. Yeah, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> Jumbo Jones, get out of here. No one likes you. Don't litter. Don't litter? You're such a nerd. <laughs> Annual chariot race? I could win this. Yeah, right. Don't you think you're a little over the weight limit? I will help you work out, and you will lose that weight. Ugh. One, two. Welcome back to Channel 26 News. I hope you're enjoying our blast into the past. Here's another clip from 2013 with Rachel Geist interviewing Dr. Moses. What are children doing that causes them to become obese? In healthy foods adolescents are often exposed to, it's often difficult for children to make healthy food choices. Children from ages 8 to 18 spend an average of 7.5 hours a day using entertainment media, such as computers, cell phones, video games, or movies, time that could be spent doing more productive things. What should children do to become healthier? Instead of participating in social media, they should be getting outside more and doing more productive activities. Too much time spent cooped up in the house playing on all the cool new gadgets kids are exposed to these days is time that could be spent getting active. Thank you, Dr. Moses. You're very welcome, Ms. Now in the year 2113, children are exercising a lot more. Safe, appealing places are being built in every community for children to come to, play, and be active. Most schools in America no longer offer as many sugary drinks or snacks. 
but food that promotes healthy living with an abundant amount of nutrition and protein. The schools now strongly enforce participation in physical education classes. In 2113, we Americans persuaded the government to make changes. 75% of farm subsidies today go to fruits and vegetables. This drastic change made the percent of obese children decrease from 66% in 2013 to 4% in 2113. Wow, what progress America has made. Child obesity, a problem once too big to handle, has almost been completely resolved. I'm Jaleen Bautista on Channel 26 News. Catch us next time at 8 p.m. See you then.